This is probably the most anticipated AMG model since, well, the last one. That's right, it's the all new Mercedes AMG A45 and I cannot wait to drive it. But before I do, I really wanna show you the exterior of this car. So of course, this yellow car works really well with all this gloss black. You will be able to tell looking at this grille, it's the Panamericana grille, which you'll notice is from the AMG GT and a lot of other Mercedes at the moment. I'm a big fan of all this black down here. Um, although I gotta say, it would be nice to have this in gloss black as well. So if you follow me around to the size, um, first of all, have a, have a look at these wheels. These are 360 mil six pot brakes. They are absolutely enormous. Um, and I've been driving around all day, and I gotta say, it really does stop the car repeatedly, despite my ridiculous amount of abuse. Um, it does have a wider front track. Uh, it's really kind of hard to see that from here. Um, I do like these side skirts. Uh, again, it works really well with the yellow car. But if you follow me to the rear, um, it's kind of where, for me, this A45 comes alive compared to the standard A-Class. You got this, obviously, little spoiler up here, but have a look at these. These are 90 mil exhausts, and there is four of them. And add the little diffuser down here, and this thing really looks completely mad. It really is a proper AMG. And you know what? It's the same story inside. It is very much an AMG in here as well. I'm a really big fan of this flat bottom steering wheel, and it feels really nice to hold, actually. Um, look, it's pretty similar to the standard A-Class, obviously. I've got the sports seats, um, which you can see here. Uh, with this really nice yellow highlights throughout, which are also on the top of the steering wheel. Um, these aircon vents are pretty good. You know, they all, they all feel pretty good. Like, it, it's, you know, you're not in an S-Class here, and the similarities to the A-Class, to the standard A-Class, are very much evident. Um, I do like this little dial here. This is how you pick your driving modes, and you've got Sport Plus and Track in this, um, which do make a fair bit of difference. <clears throat> uh, the MBUX system. Straight out of the standard A-Class, however, when you do put it in track mode, you do get a lot more telemetry and a lot of other information that you don't get. So I'm gonna turn it on and we're gonna go for a drive. All right, here we go. Um, I'm in comfort mode um, to start with uh, and uh, it is surprisingly comfortable, I have to say. Um, this isn't a very good road and there's a lot of bumps. In fact, there's a big bump right here. I'm just gonna go through it. Geez, you know, the old A45 was jarring. It was so stiff that if you went over a bump, it felt like you needed to go straight to a Cairo. But this one, in comfort mode at least, feels really good. This has obviously got adaptive suspension. Um, I suspect that all the cars we get in Oz will have it too, uh, but that is yet to be confirmed. See, there's some really big speed bumps here, and, and this is another big bump. Look, you know, it's, uh, yeah, it's really good. but. Uh, you don't buy an A45 to stay in comfort. So, I'm gonna turn this little thing, first of all in sport, um, and do some acceleration. You know, I gotta say, uh, the one disappointing aspect of this car is, unlike the previous one, it doesn't have all the cracks and pops. Now, I'm not sure if that is specific to Europe. So, I've been Sport Plus, let me just slow down and see what it sounds like. Look, I mean, it, it, it does pop on the gear shift, uh, but if you remember the old one, when you downshift it, it would just crackle. It would just keep on crackling. Um, and it doesn't do that here. And I suspect that's probably got to do with, uh, that's probably got to do with either emissions or, God, who knows, perhaps even noise restrictions in Europe. So here's hoping that considering we have none of those in Australia, that that won't be an issue. But here we go, so flat out now. I mean, this thing is so stupendously fast. I gotta slow down, because I'm gonna get sent to jail here in Spain. Um, look, some things to note about this car. First of all, the two liter engine. I know I should have talked about it earlier, but I just, it's kinda hard to fathom a two liter turbocharged engine producing 310 kilowatts of power and 500 newton meters of torque. That is a ridiculous 
amount of power and torque. It's actually ridiculous from a six cylinder, let alone from a two cylinder. So this thing is absolutely amazingly fast. Zero to 100 in just 3.9 seconds. Now, to put that in perspective, the brand new, brand new 911-992 Carrera S does the same run only 200 milliseconds faster. And we're talking about a car that is $300,000 plus. So this A45, when I, you know, I, I've been referring to it um, as a mini supercar, and I kind of think that's an accurate description. To call this thing a hot hatch is almost an insult to it because it's so far removed from being just a regular hot hatch. This is like a super hot hatch. This thing is on fire. Putting the engine aside for a second, I do have to mention this eight-speed transmission because, oh my God, it's like, I don't even think, I don't even think there's a millisecond to change gears. It's ridiculously fast. Now, other things to note about it is the steering in this car. The steering in this car, much like the old one, I suspect, um, is actually really, really direct without being stupendously heavy. Like, I've got it in Sport Plus now. There is an extra mode which you can go to, and that's track. So if I turn into track, it gets even slightly heavier. Um, but it's heavy for a good reason. You know, a lot of cars just make the steering feel heavy while it doesn't really do anything. In this one, it actually feels like it tightens up a bit. Um, and I really do appreciate that about this car, especially when you're driving it into some tight corners. So here we go, flat out again. I'm doing 130 now, 160, uh, better slow down. Um, so what is this gonna be like on Australian roads? First of all, you're probably gonna ask me how much is it gonna cost, and I, and I can't tell you. Um, there's no confirmed pricing for this car yet, so that's out of the question. Um, what I will tell you though is if, if you've got an old one and you're looking to upgrade, obviously the main differences are this interior is just sensational, so you feel like you've come into 2020 with a car that deserves to be here. Um, it's a lot more comfortable um, uh, in every way, like the seats are more comfortable, the suspension is more comfortable. Just sitting in here I feel like I could drive this every day. The other one I really didn't feel like was a good daily. This, amazing, amazing daily, so comfortable. Um, other than that, it's probably worth noting also that much like the normal A-Class, the A45 gets all the safety features and plus all the technology of things like MBUX. So, you know, you can talk to it. Um, I will try and demonstrate without making myself look like an idiot. Um, so let's, let's, have a, let's have a go. Hey, Mercedes. How may I help you? Take me back to Jarama Racetrack. I am starting route guidance to Jarama Segway. Mercedes, okay, that's not what I asked, but it goes to show you how it works, I suppose. Um, now, also, the main improvement of this car over the standard A-Class is the amount of body stiffening that has gone into it. So you've got aluminium shearing plates, you've got diagonal struts, front and rear, have really reinforced the rigidity of the chassis. And somehow, it hasn't made it super stiff to be uncomfortable. It just means that when you go around a the corner, there's almost no body roll. Um, I have been taking this out on track and there is a separate video of that, but just even on the road, pushing really hard into some corners, I feel like this car behaves so, so well. The one weakness, for me anyway, is those bloody Pilot Sport 4S tires. Now, I know they're good in some ways. They're, you know, they're a good sort of mix. Um, of a track and a road tire, occasional track use, but realistically, this is if you're buying one of these and you put a set of Pilot, Pilot Sport Cup 2s or Pirelli Trofeo Rs um, on them, it'll make a humongous difference because those tires just tend to give a little bit of uh, understeer around some corners, um, even though this thing is prone to oversteer. When they get really heated up, and that certainly happened to me on track, it does tend to give a bit of understeer. And, I think that is mainly tyre related. The tricky uh, differential and all the electronics in this car really do help push the oversteer feel, um, which I think the tyres don't really live up to. So that would be the first thing I would change in this car. The one thing I can't show you in this car is the drift mode. Now, much like the Ford Focus RS, uh, if you press a certain amount of buttons and turn traction control off, 
you can get this thing into a full serious drift setting. And I gotta tell you, having experienced it uh, myself, um, it is absolutely bonkers. It'll destroy any set of tires you throw at it in a very short amount of time. So hear me out here. If you're looking for an excuse to go and put an order on a new Mercedes-AMG A45, well, you've got one. You've got one from me because this is a truly spectacular car. It really does redefine what it means to be a hot hatch. Um, it's also stupendously comfortable. Yes, it's very fast. That's pretty much obvious. But it's also really, really comfortable. And that means that you can actually own this, drive it every day and be very happy with it. It's not the boy racer that it was in the previous generation. It doesn't have that ridiculous wing on the back, for example. Um, it looks tough, um, maybe not so much in this yellow, but it certainly looks tough from the outside and it sounds tough and it goes really hard. But you put it into comfort, which is what I'm in now, and it just puddles along like a regular A-Class with all the safety features, all the great infotainment systems um, and all the other things that come with having one of those. And then just a few clicks and you've got yourself a mini supercar, really. What more could you ask for?